Hello everyone, and today we are back for another Lumion Legacy PvP video, and today we're going to be showcasing the Melee Falkyrie. I'm running a Brawny Nimble set with Metal Essence, and these are the moves. I have Holy Slash, Nosedive, Power Focus, and Radiant Rush, the brand new move. This is the brand new light type move that does over 100 melee attack, which is awesome. The TPs I have for this Valkyrie is 80 in the energy, 20, no, 80 in the health, 20 in the energy, 200 in the melee attack, and 200 in the speed. Same as my Vesperatu set, actually. And the team I have around melee Valkyrie is Marafe. My mask, I don't have any other boots Lumion, so I just use my mask. I have Glissadia, who's really good. Solberst Gastro, my Wind Trick set, which I probably used five times in a row at this point. And I'm using Serenite again, because Serenite did pretty good in my last showcase video, so... Why not use it again? So out of the way, let's see how Radiant Rush Valkyrie does in battle. Alright, we're into battle number one with Radiant Rush Valkyrie. And this has been awful, guys. I've, I've been playing for like an hour and all of the battles I have done were either too long or Valkyrie didn't do anything. So, yeah. Or I face an Uber and get swept by an Uber. So... That's fun as well. So, I've been going through torture trying to showcase this thing. Although, this doesn't look like a terrible battle to use. I mean, there is an Eliguana. Unfortunately, it's an Ikazune, so I have to bring this when he has a Wobblisk. So, that's fun. Although, he can't taste me, so I guess I will lead off with it. I'll lead off with it and just get Solbers done out of the way, just so... This thing can't do anything to me. As for the last couple, bring you, because you're going to have barbs. And actually, I'll lead off with you, because you're going to lead off with Wobblisk. And last thing. Uh. You. Probably a bad idea. Okay, okay. We, we brought our Lumians. He led with Zulong on. I forgot who I brought with. Lynch, of course. He led off. With Zulong, of all things. Of all things, he let off with Zulong. Be fair, Zulong is a common lead, but still. But yeah, hopefully I can get Radiant Rush Valkyrie to finally do something. Because it hasn't done anything yet. It's done nothing. <laughs> Gastro, don't go for Fire Breath. Yay! Just don't do that much, at least. Okay, then. So, just go for the Soul Burst. Photosynthesis. Not dealing with this today. You you probably brought Zulong. You probably brought Zulong, Ikazune, Dragodine, and Wobblisk. So I have to keep this Gastroke alive. If this Gastroke dies, there's a 100% chance I lose the battle. So keep Gastroke alive. Gastroke has to stay alive for this one. Or otherwise, there's no way I win. So we'll do this. Please go for another Fire Breath. No, he, he went for the Roar move. I hope he goes... Please just, please tell me you just brought El Iguana. Please tell me you brought El Iguana. I know you have. Let's do it. Don't... You went Dragodine. Okay, actually, be fair, Dragodine isn't the worst. Dragodine isn't the worst. It's only a Dragodine. It's... I mean, it's overrated. I mean, I even say it is. So I guess it could be. Uh, be fair, though. I don't really have anything... I don't know if this is a boot one or not. He's going for a drink of boom. He missed! Yep! Overrated! Poison. Oh my gosh, of course I missed my poison. But at least he wasted a little energy. I'm going to say it again. Again, I have no idea if this is a... Again, I have no idea if this is... Can you not miss poison?! Ah! Of course! I, I get he missed once, but come on. Okay, okay, okay. If this... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. If you click Egg Storm, I'm going to cry. You missed... Okay. Oh my god, what the heck is happening? Okay, okay. We're clicking Holy Slash, because we're going to miss. Holy Slash. Holy Slash. Holy Slash. Holy Slash. Okay. 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 Jesus, what just happened? What just happened? Oh, I should have clicked Radiant Rush. It's Ikazune. <laughs> this thing stings. I hate this thing. Well, we're going to go into you again. And don't miss your poison. <laughs> okay, Gastro. Don't miss your poison. 
I mean, it's a pretty obvious thing. It's an er it's an obvious strategy to not miss your poison this time, okay? He's going to go back into something very dangerous. All right. Hit it. Hit it. Thank you. Let's go. <laughs> Jesus. That's not that hard to hit a poison. I swear. Okay, he just rested. I'm fine with that because I'm resting as well. I, I feel like... I kind of don't know what the set is. I don't know what set this Dragodine is. I kind of don't want to know, honestly. I'm going to go back Valkyrie, because I feel like he's going to try to just set up. If he goes for the X-Storm on this play, it will kind of suck. That's not the end of the world. He did. I think I lift one now. I lift one. But now i got to play. Is this thing boot? Don't know if this thing is boots or not. If it's boots, I'm gonna go into Marath. I assume that you're boots, and I'm gonna soak those egg storm for days. Bang! That's a strat. See? This is how you beat a Dragodine. If they're specialty boots, they're useless. So, I'm gonna go for Shatter. You see? Guys, for anyone saying that Dragodine is an Uber, that's how you prevent a Drago Dine from sweeping. There's a Wobbless. Shatter. Tons of damage. I like that. Tons of damage. Could be melee. Could be melee. But I'm going to go Wind Tricks because I assume... We all know what Wobbless usually does. So I want to prevent it from doing 7 zillion damage. So we're going to bring the Wind Tricks in. He goes for... Oh, he is melee. Okay, he is a melee Wobbless. Good to know. He is a melee Wobbless. I'm still going to go for the Provoke, just to very make sure... Oh, you have Electro Punch, and you outspeed me. You outsped my Winchrick set, and you have Electro Punch. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. That's not great. And since it's melee, Gastro can't come in. So, my mask. You're kind of the only option left, buddy. You're kind of the only option. Electro Punch. Ow! You don't need to do that. Okay, I don't... What move is it going to click? I think we just click Primal. What move is it going to click? I have no idea. Uh... It's not special to boot. Just go Gnarly Gash, I think. I think it's best play 2 mate. Just do the most damage. Yeah, just do the most damage. Yes! That did a lot of damage. It went for an Ice Hammer. It is hasty, okay. It is a hasty set, and it missed, because that's what happens when a move isn't 100%, it's going to miss. He missed two Draco Beams, I missed two Poisons, he missed an Ice Hammer. If it's not 100%, never use it. <laughs> oh my gosh, you can never rely on 100% moves, I swear, you can never rely on it. Oh my gosh, I'm just going insane, aren't I? Anyway, that helped me. Let's see who he goes into next. I wish I could like, fade away, because this is my boots. This is my boots, Lumion. He goes into Ikazune. Yes! That's awesome. This is his boots, Lumion, I bet. I bet this is his boots. So having that thing chipped and its melee defense fallen is awesome. Because I'm going for... I'm specialty boots, I guarantee I'll speed you. You have to swap out into... Dragodine, who goes down in two hits. So yeah, Dragodine goes down in two hits too. So yeah, nothing you could do about this, Drago. Nothing you could do about this. Yep, that's how you beat an Uber. How to beat an Uber in a nutshell. Th that's why, yeah, this another Uber would have swept me. And it did sweep me in a battle that I'm not showing. But that Uber? That Uber didn't even get a single KO. And my team was relatively weak to it too. So yeah, it could have swept me, but it didn't. See? Not an Uber. <laughs> Sorry. I, I know I know everyone in the comments are probably just saying, No, Drago Dine is so oppressive and dangerous, but I think I just showed the other side of it right there. We're just gonna go for an early gas just to do some damage. It's gonna go for fire breath, but I think we're gonna be okay. I think it's just gonna go for the fire breath, but if I get a little damage on Zulong, it's okay. Yep, a little damage on Zulong, it's Statum out of energy. I'm actually okay with that. Surprisingly, I'm okay with that. Because I have a Gastro that lives any hit thrown by the Zulong. 
He goes into Ikka again. Ikka's almost out of energy. Since it's almost out of energy, we just flail at it and get rid of it. So, you know what? We're getting rid of this Ikka. We're just gonna flail at it and get rid. Yeah. Melee Falkyrie Showcase, more like my Mask Showcase. So, yeah, get out of here. So, now I have no typing, but that's okay. I just don't want it to go zoo long. Please go Wobbless. I want it to go Wobbless. So if it goes Wobbless, I'll have a chance to use my... I'll have a chance. No, he's not doing it. He's not gonna... He's not gonna do it. I'm just gonna flail at it again then. <laughs> just flail and then do damage to it. Why not? Why not just do damage to it? Ah! So low. Okay. How much will I have left? I don't think it has enough for one more attack. I think it's just a little too low. So, Valkyrie will finally get a little bit of usage. I think his last... Ooh, he has one more left after. We're just going to go for the Holy Slash because I'm not risking a miss here. Oh, he flailed it. Don't crit. It did. A crit would have KO'd for me, which is scary. I have this for the Wobbleist. I have this for the Wobbleist. His last one's El Iguana. We know what his last one is. And guess what El Iguana does to... And guess what an El Iguana does to a... And let me just tell you this. Guess what an El Iguana does to a Gastro? Absolutely nothing. So... Yeah, that's his only move that can hit Gastro. And as you can see, that didn't do anything. So I'm just gonna poison it. No, he's going into a Wobba, but that's okay. Going into Waba. Poisoning the Waba is not the end of the world. I'm just worried. That, no, he's a hasty one. There's no way this guy's gonna have bars. What I'm gonna have to do is sack the Wintrix and going into the Valkyrie. Because that's the matchup I wanted. This is the matchup I wanted. So just please KO this. Just KO this. Awesome. I could even get a power focus if I really want to, but I'm not gonna take any. I'm not going to take any- No, he's going to flail at me. And I want to get a KO with Valkyrie without it being a flail. So, you know what? Valkyrie, you're coming back in. And you're getting a whole slash off. Yep, this Wobbleist is down to no health. There's no way he can win this battle. There's no way he can win this battle at where he's at. So, free KO for the melee Valkyrie. We needed this. One hour in the making. And let's see how much Holy Slash would actually do to an Eliguana. I have Radiant Rush as just the backup move. Problem is, I'm scared of clicking it. <laughs> I'm always so scared of clicking it. Let's see, how much will this actually do? I think it's going to do around half. I think it's going to be right here. Oh, okay. It wasn't as much as I thought. Well, okay. What are my last couple Lumians I have left? I mean, these both of these Lumians beat Eli... Oh, actually, I don't think both of them do, but... You definitely beat the Eliguana. Eliguana can physically can't touch the Gastro. Physically can't touch him. So you just set up that. And now you go down to poison eventually. And I'm just gonna set up a tamp. Because yeah, this Eliguana does absolutely nothing. I mean, that's the most damage Eliguana is going to do to to me. It's not th this Eliguana is not beating me. There's no way. Even if this was a me like a melee Eliguana, even if this was a melee earthquake set, it would probably do 30, and that's it. He's resting. I get free damage off. I'm, I'm I am attacking it in case it is Mysterious Dust. So yeah, I'm attacking it in case it is Mysterious Dust. So yeah, I don't want it to be Mysterious Dust, and then yeah, there you go. It's over. He just rests it. That's GG's. And I finally got to use Melee Valkyrie. I didn't get to use its new move, but I was actually able to use it. Let's head into battle number two. All right, battle number two with Melee Valkyrie, and this battle looks awful. <laughs> okay, okay, there is actually something. There is something. By the way, that's like the fourth Ikazune I've seen today. I've seen so many Ikazunes, and my team's so weak to it. By the way, that's the first Munchwill I've seen in a long time, and my team is also kind of relatively weak to Munchwill, so that's kind of scary. He also has his own Glossania, which I'll bring you for. I'll bring... You for the Phage Knot. I will lead off with you. And I'll bring you as Boots. I'll bring you for potential barbs and burning stuff. Because I can burn the Munch Wheel. I can burn the Icy Gold. I assume that's not being a haste by judging by the team. 
am the last thing to bring. I really don't know who to bring out of these last few. I feel like you're the best pop. No, because of that thing. No, we bring... No, I don't think you're the best option either. You could have Barb, so I'm going to bring Winter. We'll lead off with this. Don't lead off with the Glissadia. He's lagging. He let off the Glissadia, so we let off with the Munch Wheel. <laughs> Oh, he let off with the Munch Wheel. He's gonna get the Munch Wheel sweep right off the bat, isn't he? He's gonna get the Munch Wheel sweep right off the bat, isn't he? You know what you're going to do. I'll at least terrify you. Or, are, are you Vice Jaws? Okay, this is the Vice Jaws set. Are you Rev Up, or are you the other set? I don't know. I can't tell. I don't think you are Specialization. I don't think you are Specialization. I'm gonna place a layer of barbs. Just to get it down. On Ica. Okay. I'm gonna go. Oh, but Zip Zap's free is the problem. Zip Zap's free when I could get a potential free slap down. But you know what? That will be what I do. Yep. Zip Zap's basically free, but I live to hit. Alright, and I got one layer of barbs on the field and I get a free slap down. I couldn't go gas stroke there. It would have just been free real estate. He goes back into Munch Wheel, which is okay. Because I get a slap down on it. And we get to see what item you are. You are a Metal Essence. That didn't really help that much, honestly. That didn't really help that much. So we're just going to go for the Barbs again. Yeah, he swapped out again. Getting more getting more layers of Barbs. The Kazune comes back in. Okay, it's not the end of the world. I think he's Specialization. I think that's a Spec... I think that's a Spec Wheel... I don't remember I'm having a Cosmiar, so I don't- I think we're okay in terms of that. Biggest thing is that- thing is, I have one swap in, and we all know what move you're going to click. What I need- I need to get that Soul Burst up, but every time I click Zip Zap, I'm not getting that Soul Burst up is the problem. Although, I do have two layers of barbs, and I don't know if he has removal. Celestine could have it. Munch Wheel comes back in, and the Munch Wheel's getting really low at this rate. But we're just going to go back. Just gonna play this game again. We're just going to go back into this. We're just going to go back into the, you know, we're just going to go back into the Seer Knight. Because this walls you. Literally, walls you. How much do you do? How much do you do? 12. Yeah, brilliant. 12 damage. Awesome. Great. Great job there, Munchwheel. Going to go for Slapdown again because... I'm going to go for Slapdown again, because if I can get rid of an item, that could be very nice. I could also, go, I could have gone for the rest, but I think Slapdown is the best move to click. Because if he goes back, it cut. No, he's staying in and just clicking. Okay, he's just clicking. It's okay. Okay. Just chill. Slapdown won't KO it all the way. It doesn't. Not even close, actually. We go for a layer of barbs, so we get triple sets of barbs. We get a third layer of barbs now. We'll get our third layer of barbs. This is awesome for Glissadia later in the fight, and I think I know why. He's trying to chip Seer Knight, because he thinks this is going to be the only thing I beat with Glissadia. So his Gl I think he has Glissadia. He's trying to chip the Seer Knight down to try to get Glissadia into the field. I think that is I think that's what he's trying to do. He also got a crit, which kind of sucks, but it eh, could have been worse. So again, triple layers of barbs. I'm going to get a rest up just to get my energy back. And then I'm gonna get, and then I'm gonna burn it, I think. I'm, I'm taking the slow route to the butt, because it's the munch wheel, and this thing can't be scary if not careful. You, I have to take the slow route to the, I have to take a slow route here. If I don't take it slow, this munch wheel is gonna stay alive, and it's eventually going to sweep me. There's nothing that this munch wheel can do anymore. This munch wheel is now Raging Flame. Ugh, if I can ever hit the Raging Flame. Again, anything that isn't 100%. And I can't use it again. <laughs> Stupid Vice Jaw! Oh, I swap! And Ica. Yes! Yes! Vice Jaws heard him there! <laughs> yes! He called the predict, but the Vice Jaws heard him because I couldn't use the other thing. And now he lost his boots! Okay, he lost his boots. He lost his boots. Fortunately, nothing. That doesn't make any other living outspeed it, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll just go for the gastro. We need to get it soul burst. Zip zap. Dang! We're not getting it soul burst up! My munch wheel is kind of dead because of the triple layers. Again, unless he has anything that can get rid of those barbs, 
I don't think there's anything you can do about it. Goes into Icy Goal. Okay. I mean, I have Radiant Rush. I could go back into Seer Knight to just... Again, limit the damage, because I have an idea. I'm going to go back to Seer Knight. Give you the... Uh, terrifying. You could have Thunder Chomp. It's not the end of the world. Fatal Wave. Dang it, the pivot! The pivot is wrecking me. So who do you go into? Punch Wheel again? Nika. And Yakazune's dead! Okay! I didn't have to worry about Soul Bursting with Gastroke. <laughs> so who do you have left? Punch Wheel kind of can't come in. This Icy Gold's kind of low, which is in range for Radiant Rush for Falcon. It's in range. So, I will make that swap, actually. Let's see what he does, though. I'm still worried about Glissadia. Because if he has Glissadia, he can't sweep me. Especially if I let go both the Seer Knight and the Falcon. If I let go of them both, that Glissadia can come in and sweep me and wreck my day. And that would not be fun. So... I hope he clicks a move. I hope he doesn't stall out the battle, because if he does, it's just going to be another long battle that I can't use for the video, and that would be awful. Is he really time- Please don't be timer stalling. Please don't do this. I've already been trying to showcase his loom for an hour now. I don't want to waste 30 minutes on this. Like, I'm in the winning position. You haven't even KO'd a loom. Okay. I think he's a sack Munch. Oh, his Munch is still alive, actually. Uh, I'll just Raging Flame. Yeah, he went for Vice Jaw. That's smart. Now, don't miss your Raging Flame this time, Seer Knight! Okay, Seer Knight! Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> Thank you! So now I can just attack. Fortunately, I do get rid of that support. So he can go back into Icy Bowl. Okay, we know that you have a Nevermare. Good to know. We know you have Nevermare. And we know that Nevermare is extremely dangerous, so I'm going to get rid of your Rageful Plushie. And you're setting up a bulk up because you're trying to get the full-on sweep of this thing. Even though I have a... What you would call it? I have a... The go. You'll lose your Rageful Plushie. I have a... I think I'm going to be okay. I think we are in a very good position to win this. If I don't get credit... I don't. Awesome. Raging Flame. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go for a... Wait. To get my energy back up. This thing is kind of too low for Glissadia anyway. That did no damage. It hasn't even crit me, actually. This is kind of crazy. I might be able to beat the Nevermare. We're gonna go for a Certain Steel. Because it's Stab. Please get it just, just KO'd all the way. Please just KO'd all the way. Get it just so low so I can bring in my Falcon. Okay. It's way too low to do anything. It dies through the burn on the next turn. Oh, that's massive. So we'll just click slap down. I think I die here. Oh my god, I didn't even die. I can get a Raging Flame on Icy Goal. And then get my Falcon in. And click Radiant Rush. Okay. Please just go Icy Gold. Just go Icy Gold, please. Thank you. Thank you. We're gonna go for the Raging Flame. Okay. And I hit it. Wow, this Seer Knight put up some serious work. He faded up. Oh my gosh, I lived the hit. Insane, I actually lived. Oh, yeah. As expected, that was his last limb. I'm gonna flail at it. Because it's basically a free piece of mine, so I am going to flail at it. That will KO the Seer Knight, but that's fine. It's just one piece of mine. It's just one. I'm not going for the Radiant Rush, because everyone in the world knows what happens if I click that move. I'm going to miss, and then I'm going to lose the battle. But personally, I don't want that to happen. We're going to go into Valkyrie. Valkyrie's going to live the hit, and we're going to win. I hope this thing crits me. I'm going to lose it. Didn't crit. This should one-shot it. Let's go! Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to click Radiant Rush. And I'm going to miss. Okay. 
I'm clicking the Radiant Rush. Right here, right now, Valkyrie will win us the match. We clicked the Radiant Rush. Let's go. Melee Valkyrie actually did okay there. It came in to clean up the Glissadia and the Icicle. So yeah, Radiant Rush on Valkyrie is decent. On a melee one. On a melee one, it's pretty good. It's good to have a melee light type move. But can I tell you what would probably be a better melee type move for Valkyrie? Light dash. Let's give this thing priority on the melee side. Because it would actually give it an option to actually run its melee attack over its range. So it would actually give it another option. But yeah, Radiant Rush is still a pretty good upgrade for it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video of me showcasing Radiant Rush Valkyrie. And I'll see y'all all later. Bye-bye!